Let's do integration by parts for the integral of arcsine x plus second power. And I'm going to show you guys with a traditional format. Namely, we have to think about what should we pick for u. So we can differentiate that, pick something for dv, and then we integrate that. Worry about the dv first. And we only have one part here, right here, right? So we shouldn't pick this for dv. Otherwise, we get back to the original question. Arcsine x to the second power, that will be the u. So I'll put down right here u is equal to arc sine x to the second power, and for the dv, it will be just dx. It doesn't really matter how crazy this is, because we can always differentiate. Let's do it. So for du, we are going to differentiate this, bring the 2 to the front, and the inside stays the same, arc sine x to the first power, after you subtract 1. And then the chain rule says we have to look at the inside, and multiply by the derivative arc sine x, which is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And technically, I will have to put on dx for differential. We are done for that. And for the dv is equal to dx, let's integrate both sides. And we will say v will be x. That will be the first step. These are the ingredients that we need to do the first step for the integration by parts. And the integration by parts says the product of the diagonal, this times that will be part of the answer. And let me just begin to write down. But let me write down x first before that. So this is going to be, by the integration by parts, we will have x times arc sine x to the second power. So this times that. And then minus integral, the product of these two things. Okay, The product of a row is an integral. Here I have a number, let me put a 2 in the front of the integration sign. And then I have the arc sign x right here. And then we have this times x. So let me put the x on the top. So we multiply with x over square root of 1 minus x squared. And then of course we have the dx right here. And you may be wondering, this looks even worse than the original. But then this is just a procedure. In fact, this is also doable. It's also doable with integration by parts. And we have two things right here. Let's focus on just the integral, OK? And I'm going to reset my u and the v. This right here was done for the first step. But for this particular integral, we have two things, arc sine x and then this fraction, x over square root of 1 minus x squared. OK, so traditional format. Let's pick something for u. And then something for dv. So let me just write it down right here, u and dv. Well, arc sine x, should we pick that for d, um, should we pick that for u or dv? And remember, dv is a part that you have to integrate. Can we integrate arc sine x easily? No, we can't, because we have to use integration by parts for arc sine x already. But then can we integrate that? x over square root of 1 minus x squared. Yes, we can. And it's pretty easy because we can do u substitutions. So I will put this for dv. dv will be x over square root of 1 minus x squared dx. And then we are going to differentiate arc sine x. And let's get to work. du, the derivative arc sine x is 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And then integrate both sides. So we get v equals to the integral of this, you have to use a u substitution. You let u equals to 1 minus x squared. Okay? And now let me just tell you the answer. This right here is going to be negative square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay? Right here, this will be the ingredients for that integral. As usual, the integration by part sets the product of the diagonal, this times that, will be part of the answer. So let's construct the answer now. I will put down all this in red. OK? Hopefully, I have enough space. This times that, let me put a negative first. And perhaps I'll put down the square root first as well. So negative square root of 1 minus x squared. And we have arc sine x. And that's also of the square root, OK? Arc sine x. That's pretty good, the product of the diagonal. And then we are going to subtract. Right, the formula says so. Subtract an integral. The product of each row is also integral. 
and I forgot the dx right here technically, right? The product of this rule represents an integral. And what's the product of this? What's the product of 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared times that? This goes on the top, and they cancel each other out, right? So the product of this is just negative 1, because this is negative. So the inside is just negative 1, and we have dx. Okay? Once again, the product of each row, we have this times that, which will get negative 1. And this is so easy to integrate, of course, right? And we still have negative 2 in the front. Let's just focus on this altogether. So we're all actually done because this is very easy to do. Let's just finish it. Take the 2, I mean, take the negative 2, distribute inside. Negative 2 times that with positive 2, so plus 2. Square root of 1 minus x squared, arc sine x. Okay? And then be careful here. The integral of negative 1 is negative x. Negative negative is positive. Negative 2 times that is negative. So this is negative 2. And the integral of the 1 is x. Okay? Negative negative, not a negative stuff. So altogether, this right here, it's a result of this part. But then we still have that. That should be down here as well, altogether. So let's just write this down. Uh, x parentheses arc sine x parentheses square plus that minus the hat. That's the function part. We are done. So at the end, you put plus c. Integration by parts twice. And then notice that the choice of u, OK? It's about the same, but like it's the DMS wouldn't work out that nicely. So do it like this. That's it. Okay.